It's, it's good? Alright, cool. Hey guys, how's it going? So, this was the most voted comment, the lightsaber. So I'm setting up a new board. You know, alright, lightsaber, new sponsor, Strigi. Wearing their shirt right now too. Got the survey hat, trying to survey. And also the the crockets, look at that. It's finally, it tore to the another layer. There's like another layer, so it's not that bad. So today we'll see how far we go. And we got the Pert Life, ooh. Buttery. This video's about to come out soon, guys. I'm gonna have a part in there, so I hope you guys are excited for that. All right, let's open this up. Hobo Code, what the heck, whoa. All right, Hobo Code, Legend, Hurt Life, Hobo Code. Oh, cool. Follow the money, oh, all right. Mean Dog Here, ooh. B, okay beer in this town, okay beer. Damn, this is some crazy stuff. I wonder what, how Hurt Life came up with this. Like the hobo code? The it's heck? crazy. Alright, got some stickers up in here. So, oh, that's what that is? Yeah, always. I've always wondered what so that was. So if you was. buy a Hurt Life uh, board, you always get stickers in like these bags. That's unique. Alright, let's do this. Ah. Alright. Dude, I love that series of boards. The hobo series. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to try Ghost Ford. Oh, yeah. A Hurt Life rider. His name's uh, Ghost. His actual name is Derek Burdett. He just went pro for Hurt Life, so ups to him for sure. That was sick. Like, his uh, little Insta edit for him going pro was so rad. It, it Like, in the beginning, it had nothing to do with skateboarding. It was just him, like, brewing up a coffee, really hot water. And then he just stirs the coffee, opens the door, dips out, and then it goes to a clip of him doing a impossible or a three shove. Impossible. Impossible. Are those holes on the ends of that? Yeah, that's how grip is. Have you never seen that? Look at that. Dude, my Jessup has never been like that. <laughs> this I is. Swear. I think. Uh, I think Grizzly. Oh no. Oh, okay, cool. That's how you know the grip's good. Did not stick automatically. All right. All right, right there. All Can right. you say something about Grizzly? Oh yeah, Grizzly has those holes too, so if you see the nine club, uh, Tory Puddle's freaking engineering that field. Yeah, he explained it so good. Yeah, like, he explains it so good. Don't don't take my word for it, because like, I'm not gonna explain it as good as him. So, yeah. Yeah, right, just let's... know if you mess up, you get a crease, you're still good. How the fudge? All right, you know. It's just a little difficult with this. Damn, all right. This lightsaber does look cool. Green's like one of my favorite colors too. Like olive green, I like this green. This type of green is my favorite color. And uh, burgundy, yeah. I uh, know, I like some dark little colors, not some colorfuls. All right. The reason why is because I'm dark skinned and I'm very, very my self esteem on my skin color is very low. So I like to not wear bright colors, even though I'm wearing white right now. <laughs> so that's why you always see me wearing like black pants and whatnot. But I, I like to try out a lot of stuff. So how long you been on Hurt Life for now? A year. Yeah. Uh, January 28th, which is my girlfriend's birthday. I, uh, I got a call from the team manager and it was I wasn't on I just sent footage and They DM'd me like hey, what's your number and cuz I sent them footage and He called me. He was just saying hey, dude. Uh, well We'll send you a board and see how you do with that one board and when I got that board like whenever he said that I was just like I'm just gonna do what I do always tag him on Instagram just skate the crap out of that board and show them that yeah, dude, I'm not playing well Not that I'm not playing, but I really want to ride for you guys So I'm not gonna play right here. I'm just gonna use that board stack clips post them on Instagram all the time Blow them up basically like just that's what you got to do with your sponsor if you if you really want a Ride for someone. That's what I believe uh, You're just gonna tag them all the time show them that you're supporting them because it would be fishy if you you're riding a blank board and you don't tag them, 
then that's like them, they're gonna start thinking, okay, is he gonna ride for someone else? What is he doing? Is he gonna leave me? So definitely, I would not do that. But yeah, I was, I, they hit me up January 28th, 2016, after I sent them footage, they were hyped. And after that one board, they just kept sending me boxes and they told me I'm on. And a year later, videos coming out, I'm, I'm happy with my whole video part, but if I could definitely get three tricks, three more tricks, this is one of the parts that I would be most proud of. So you found out the other week that you were an official am. How did that feel? That was crazy. I didn't think I was that status. I just thought I was like flow material, right? just not even uh, actually am status. But whenever the team manager told me that, I was just like, oh shit, shit's real, okay. Now I know. And then seeing uh, one of the AMs go pro, that was the first AM to pro that the company made. I was just like, that made me really happy to see that happen. Because I was just like, dude, I'm so pumped up. These guys, this board company is started really small and now they're like growing. And I love that. And I, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that process. So I'm just happy to be on the, the company and doing what I'm doing. And have my first actual company part, which is like, you know, you're writing for a board company and you put out a video part for them. Because I've had like a lot of video parts that are not for nobody. It's just like for my project, the homies videos. That's about it. So Stringy, tell me about it. That's your new grip sponsor. Oh, yeah. A year ago, I was buying a lot of uh, grip from this company called Cloud9. And he was the artist that I was choosing his art on the, the, what's it called? Um, on the website, I was choosing his art. So I just get it and he'd hit me up, hey, if you need, uh, if you want a certain design, let me know so I could make it. And I was doing that. Then I just stopped buying it just because uh, I was using my money for other things. And then earlier this uh, month, which was February, now it's March officially. <laughs> but So earlier in February, he hit me up and he said he wanted to, hooked me up and I was down for it so now I have a, a, a grip tape sponsor so that's cool having grip is the best now if a, now if a homie needs grip I could just shoot him the hurt life grip right here this grips good too I really like it I like it too it's good But yep, yeah, that's what I'm been up to. Oh yeah, why not? We are putting it in, guys. Like, tell me how that's going. Well, we didn't put it out in December 9th, 2016, just because I, not everyone had footage. Everyone was doing different things, and then I started filming with a lot of new people that I wanted to be have, that I wanted them to be in the project so I told myself I'm sorry to myself because I wanted it to be a one year project where it's just basically one year strictly and my mind changed it I was like forget about that this is just another cool video with the friends but I really want it to be really good and knowing that I was gonna get a new camera and just being able to travel more I told myself we're definitely gonna just wait not gonna put it out right now and hopefully people understand and people been understandful for that reason just excited for what we're going to be doing right now i'm just really focusing on the three last tricks that i want to do for the hurt life video but still filming for why not i just recently got two clips the other day and i'm happy on those clips because the gap that i skated no one really skates it so that's cool and now we're going to LA right now. So setting up my board before we go to LA because I do not like the feeling of watching people skate while I see, uh, while I set up a board. Like I'm so impatient for that reason. So right now I'm setting it up before we go to LA because I we're going to the courthouses. So hopefully you guys already saw that video. If not, it's going to be somewhere up here on the card. And yeah. So tell me, what made you want to start a trilogy video? I see that you're gonna make another full length after this full length. And you already had a full length before, why not? Oh yeah, this is why? So it's gonna be this is why, why not, and then why? Yeah. 
the the reason is my favorite filmmakers in skateboarding the Oshia brothers they came out with happy medium happy medium 2 happy medium 3 a trilogy and they're working on their fourth video called just happy medium 4 and just seeing those videos always inspired me the creativity that all those guys came out with like Jeff Stevens god damn bro like it's seriously his clips are so amazing he does like all the foot plants like Ollie foot plant deck check to Smith deck check freaking everything I, I'm not even kidding when I'm saying he deck checks into like he he deck checks from the set of stairs outward so that that dude's insane that dude's insane and he can still skate normal because yeah. like I've seen normal clips it's just it's really amazing to see someone else's creativity it makes you think what can you come up with what can you do and it also makes you think about not just doing the normal tricks like trip flip off a big set just to do that like always think about being different in the sense of like what other tricks you can do like I like doing finger flips I like doing air walks and not a lot of people do those and it's not that a lot of people don't do them it's just I guess people talk crap I've seen the article on the what right What is in your wheel? Hair, I think. I don't know. It, it was annoying me, so I had to pull it out. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it just, and then it has uh, one of my favorite skateboarders that I love watching footage from, Josh Hawkins. So underrated, so underrated. Oh, snaps. I, I, I'm, I'm forwarding your call, whoever it was, sorry. <laughs> So Josh Hawkins, he's amazing. If you don't know who Josh Hawkins is, go YouTube his part, Happy Medium 2. That is by far my favorite part from him. He does some amazing stuff. The song goes with him perfect. The editing, amazing. Like I like how they do this effect on the Happy Medium video where they're using the, v the VX. They film with VX and the fisheye, they zoom in and they zoom out. So. It's like so weird because you don't zoom in or zoom out with the fisheye on those lenses. I use, I did have a VX before the HD back in 2010. I bought one. Then I bought a H, my first HD camera back in 2013, and then now changed it to 80D, which is 2017. Four years later. How did you like using the VX? The VX was awesome because it already had a mic. Dude, those were legendary back then. Yeah, like, the if you had a VX, you were set. Yeah, is the only thing I didn't like about the VX was buying tapes. Like that yeah. sucks so bad. Like we had to literally buy tapes after it. We oh, we filmed so much that you just can imagine. Everyone's like, I always had to tell everyone, dudes, I don't have a tape, and everyone would be like, let's pitch in, and we'd struggle so much for like eight bucks just for one tape. It was so ridiculous. And what and, VX was that? VX uh, 20, 2000? 2000, yeah. Yeah, I still have it. Really? I just, I, the mic's just messed up. Yeah. So I haven't uh, really, but I, I've been having plans to just use it. Just like, see what I can do with it now. Like, maybe come out with VX Saturdays or something, I don't know. Hey, that would be cool. Just like where I film only VX, unless it's like for an actual video part clip. Yeah. But that would be, these are just ideas that come up to me. Uh, but yeah, that's what inspired me to do the the trilogy, which it, it's going good because like a lot of people haven't seen video parts from the people that are gonna be in Why Not, which is always my plan. Like, I like filming with not that I like filming with people that don't have video parts, but I like to uh, see video parts from homies that have never had a video part. So like Michael, I've never seen a video part from Michael, I've never seen a video part from Rob, I've never seen a video part from uh, Mark. So or Greg, just all these all these homies just don't have video parts. So that's why I'm making all these video parts. Also gives them opportunity to, you know, have a full length part, which not a lot of people are doing full lengths right now just because people forget or whatever but I don't care it's just I love making like the whole video process I've I grew up making like watching full lengths and whatnot spongy pimp my rod <laughs> oh you know we got these speakers up in here we got these 52s that turned into 49 
but that's what's up with uh, the full lengths and looking pretty cool homies stacking clips like I said Santa Monica today the courthouse and then from there another street park huh ghetto spot you got the pin for that Dang, <laughs> we need Spon the pins for everything. Spongy Spongy's ready to like, go. I got the pin, dude. Spongy's ready to go. He ain't even playing. He's like, yeah, bro. Yeah, okay. go over there. All right. So basically, we are done. Anything else I should say? Nah, man. Know? Thank you for the, for the setup and Q&A. Setup Q&A. Oh, yeah, man. He, hopefully, people enjoyed this. I bet they did. Leave a comment if you want to see more of these board setups yeah. and Q&As. Let me know what you guys thought about the Q&A slash setup video. Also, leave a comment on who you would want to see do a setup and any other ideas. And I really appreciate it. Should I do a first try kickflip right now? Yeah, I think you should. First try, what trick? Because like everyone does kickflip and tray flip. Burial Hill. Burial Hill, okay, yeah. Burial Hill. Let yeah. me just finish doing these last bolts and I'll go for that Burial Hill. Cause like you gotta keep it spicy. You yeah, kick. you gotta change. It Everyone up. does kick with like oh shit. I was gonna tell you to do switch flip, but I'll switch. Like, you yeah. want you want? I'll I'll go for both. All right, I'll go for both. If you do the varial hill, you have to do the switch flip. Oh, de definitely. But if I don't do the varial, I'm still gonna do switch flip. And all right, my mind is set on switch flip right now. Like <laughs> even though the the main goal is very hill for the first try, look, and I haven't stretched so. Don't go easy on me. Most people are like, go easy on me. No, don't go easy on me. It's, I should have this on lock. After been skating board for 12 years, almost 13, should have everything on lock. Nah. Nah. Nah, I'm kidding. P-Rod messes up sometimes. Shane O'Neill messes up sometimes. You know, we're only human, but some humans are really, really, really good at what they do. So. Shane doesn't really mess up that much. Yeah, so I don't think Shane messes up at all. Nah, not too much. All right. Almost done right here. All right, all right, let's do this. Real quick. Very old heel flip. Oh, got it. All right, switch flip. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video, or tonight's, or whoever at a Sayonara.